Hi there everyone, my name is Dave West. I hope we're all doing well. So welcome back to the ultimate video test and this time is for the brand new iPhone SE 2020. Now as with all ultimate video tests, I'll leave all of the main camera specifications down in the description and I'll just run through some of the high level features throughout the video to help save you some time. So we're starting with the front facing camera then. And the front facing camera is a seven megapixel fixed focus camera. And this can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. And it uses Apple's cinematic image stabilization to help keep things nice and smooth. So as with most new iPhones, the iPhone SE can also record audio and stereo sound from both the front and the rear cameras. And you get noise cancellation built in with that as well. So if you've got some wind deflection like you have today, it helps to keep voices nice and clear at the center of the sound stage and you may get a bit of wind rustle to the left and right but it's nothing too severe i hope which i hope you can hear from this video so let's just check out how the front facing camera handles exposure changes so it's a kind of nice day but with some cloud in the sky and you can see if you look at the greenery behind me as the camera moves around it makes those adjustments really quickly thanks to the power of that A13 Bionic chip which, they, which they've stuffed into this very small little phone. It feels very small anyway, having used much larger iPhones previously. And one good thing about iPhone video is that it's always really smooth. I've not used one in the last couple of years where I've actually seen any drop frames or skip frames as they call it when recording video. So the video encoding is really, really impressive and helps to keep the video nice and smooth throughout the entire duration. So let's just check out the image stabilization from the front facing camera with a quick run. You let me know what you think. So I'll switch to the rear camera now and I'll show you what modes are available and how that all looks. Okay, so onto the rear camera then. And this is a 12 megapixel autofocus camera. And this supports resolutions up to 4K at 60 frames per second, which for a phone at this price point is really impressive. And I'll show you the quality of that video a little bit later on in the video. We're starting with a resolution which I think is a good compromise resolution and that's 1080p at 30 frames per second and as per the front facing camera you get the cinematic image stabilization or electronic image stabilization as what most people know it and that helps to keep things nice and smooth throughout the video. So we'll just start by checking out how the phone handles changes in exposure and colour as I move the phone around. And from where I'm standing, that is looking pretty good. As I said at the start of the video, both the front and rear cameras use stereo sound recording, which you can move back into mono if you like, but it adds a nice wide sound field to your videos, should you wish. So that's just a quick look at 1080p at 30 frames per second. So I'll just move to 4K resolutions now and show you what is available. All right, so for 4K resolutions then you can choose from 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second. Now this is 24 frames per second. And you'll notice that this does look a little bit more jittery than the usual video. Some people like it, some don't. But recording this way also benefits you in low light. Obviously the less frames being captured, the more light can be allowed into the center quicker. Whereas if you record at 60 frames per second, then it takes double the amount of time 
therefore like to hit the center. And in this mode, you can use the pinch to zoom option. Now obviously this is at the expense of detail. However, it's there should you need it. There's no double tap option. You just pinch and there's a slide at the side of the screen or you can just keep pinching with two fingers to get to where you need to be. So just focus on this leaf right here, for example. Just here, Let's see how far we can zoom in. And you can see it's not that bad, to be honest. I mean, if needs must, you can get some really decent image quality by just zooming in in 4K. Okay, so as we've already seen, video at 30 frames per second at 1080p, there's no point duplicating that for 4K. So I'm just skipping straight to 4K at 60 frames per second. And the fact that a phone at this price can do video at this quality, stabilized as well, is really, really impressive. So if you're looking for a pocket video powerhouse, then the iPhone SE 2020 might just fit the bill for you. We'll just move to autofocus now and just show you how well that works. Now bear in mind these are moving objects. There's a gentle breeze here today. And we can see it's got a nice lock on that even though they're moving around and then move back to the background and then back to subject slightly more challenging for the phone in this kind of conditions you can see once these stop moving it gets a nice lock on those at the same time if you use slightly more static objects you can see the phone gets a nice quick smooth gradual lock on the subject in front and if I move around it stays that way until I move away and then it's just seamless the way it moves from subject to background it's a nice smooth autofocus mechanism which is good to see so let's just try with a slightly smaller object and again, you can see, even with smaller items, it gets a nice lock on that. Let's, you know, even if you go further away, it stays locked on that subject until I move away. So if you're using the phone for you know, capturing faster moving objects, maybe your children when they're running around, then you've got some confidence that the autofocus on this phone is gonna do you right. Okay, so at 4K60 then, let's check out the stabilization with a quick run first of all. And hopefully from that you can see the benefit of the cinematic stabilization at 4K60. Alright, so there's a roundup of the video modes available on the iPhone SE 2020. I think it's another great Apple video device. They very rarely fail to impress, and this is no exception. Made even better by the by Apple terms, bargain basement price point. So if you've got any questions about anything that you've seen in this video, then please do let me know down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you're new here, then please do consider subscribing so that there's more videos coming on the channel very soon, including some more tests with the iPhone SE 2020. But for now, this has been my ultimate video test for the iPhone SE 2020. My name's Dave West, and I'll catch you guys later.